Let's go to the central region next. And the presiding bishop of the Methodist Church, Ghana, Most Reverend Dr. Paul K. Boafo, is calling on governments to treat the church as a major contributor to the development of the nation. According to him, the church knows the sufferings and the vulnerabilities of the people, and its criticisms of governments should be taken seriously to reduce the suffering and hardships Ghanaians go through. He was speaking as the 60th anniversary of the Methodist Church since it gained its independence from the British Methodist Church. Another report by Richard Kojonyako. The presiding bishop of the Methodist Church, Dr. Paul Boafo, said the church would always speak for the vulnerable in the society if they are being exploited. He explained a lot needs to be done for the masses in Ghana and the church would rise to the occasion to put government on its toes to deliver on its mandate. For us, uh, we will continue to be the conscience of the nation. And as the conscience of the nation, we are always on the uh, side of the people. We look at them, we are part of them, and we even go to the remotest of places. So we know the sufferings, we know the hardships, we know the difficulties. We also know the joys of the people. And uh, so where government needs to be praised, we will do it. Uh, and, and one of such is where we are talking about the free education, for instance. That one, it came as a big boost to all people, which the, uh, the church really supports. But uh, when it does not go well, where people have no jobs and others, that is where our advocacy comes in, where we are uh, taking for a ride the welfare of people in terms of women, children, we also will come in to speak for the vulnerable in society. So we will say that the government should always treat the church as a major contributor to the development of the nation. Whatever we say, it's not just for crit criticizing government, but we know what it means before we come out to say anything. That is where we would want the government to also look at it. Central Regional Minister Justina Marigodasan acknowledged the church's support in the area of health, education and other infrastructural support and said government would do more to improve the livelihood of the Ghanaian. She pushed for a better state and church partnership to develop the country. Indeed, in education and health sectors, the church has done a lot and I wish to commend you for this contribution. I wish to state that the government will continue to partner you in this quest to improve the living standards of its people. I believe also that Christian principles, when deeply rooted in the lives of the members, can help mitigate critical and social problems like child prostitution, armed robbery, upsurge in crime, substance abuse, and indiscipline, among other vices, which are fast destroying our youth and prefer adequate solutions to combat these social cankers. The church and state need to show collective leadership and commitment to seriously address these unfortunate social issues, militating against the growth of the nation. The ceremony was graced by bishops from across the country. Richard Kwejenya Akon, Joy News, Cape Coast.